What's going on y'all? It's me and Chips and Sticks. I'm back with Squirtle for another impressions video and this time it's on a very unique game called Endling Extinction is Forever. Keep watching. Endling is a very unique game like I said. This is an indie game that focuses on a fox and her three cubs. And really what it is is that you have to survive in what seems to be the end of nature in a, in a natural environment. She's the last fox on earth and you have to navigate through many different hurdles and threats just to survive. It's a very unique take and honestly I haven't seen anything like this in a long time that has an underlying theme of preserving a natural environment and wildlife. So this is actually something I, I really want to jump into uh, some more and, and play some more. However, because this is an impressions video, I managed to play the demo that was on Xbox. So all the footage that you see is on an Xbox Series X and uh, it's at 30 frames per second. I spoke with the developers, shout out to you guys at Hero Studios, um, they confirmed that this game runs at 30 frames per second on all platforms. So my future review will actually be on the Nintendo Switch because I think this is definitely one of those cool looking games that you can play both docked and handheld and it'll look phenomenal. The gameplay in Endling is actually very simple and straightforward with of course the, uh, the button mapping you know, only having one or two actions per button. The design is, is very, very interesting because it has uh, like a, a multi-layered exploration uh, system uh, in terms of moving around and navigating. So there are times when you can take different paths and go into the background of the game and, you know, come back to the foreground. Obviously the paths, you know, when you decide to take a different path, what you see in the background now becomes your foreground and vice versa. It's very interesting because the map, uh, it does appear to seem rather large and it does appear based on the demo and what I've played so far that there's a multitude of ways you can go to explore new areas, find new things and find food, you know, a bunch of different things. So that's, Another thing that I want to jump into is the gameplay. Like I said, button mapping and controls are very straightforward. Uh, you have your action button to pick up and drop food for your cubs to eat. You can actually pick up one of your cubs and carry them. You can also call them, uh, you know, call them to you so that way they don't, you know, straggle off into the distance. I like to call it mother mechanics because this is actually what you do most of the times in the game is you look after your cubs. You have to be very cautious of where you're going, what's around you. You know, you can go up against, you know, other humans. You can go up against other animals. There isn't necessarily a combat system from what I can tell because a lot of the times you really just running and hiding and running away from the threat that's currently facing you. The game or the demo actually... You know, it, it puts you in a situation where one of your cubs has been kidnapped and you have to find it based on the scent and follow it to wherever that cub is going to be. And of course, you have to get through different, you know, obstacles, hurdles, and even humans and animal enemies alike, you know, to find your cub. There are three markers. I believe there's three markers, maybe four, where it shows your cubs and, and the lives. And you also have a health bar for your cubs. And really what this is, is that you have to find food to keep them full because they have to eat. And, you know, obviously, you, you know, you keep them out of danger as much as you can. The camera, you know, it doesn't, there isn't really much, uh, much room for the camera because this is also a side scrolling game. So the most you can do with the camera is look far left, far right, up and down, you know, your typical directions. And... I actually like this because it adds more to the element of of fear, right? Of trying to survive in the wild. You know, there are going to be threats all around you. And there are certain traps as well that 
tend to be a little bit hidden if you don't really pay attention to where you're going. If you're just rushing through things, you're going to run into that. You're going to run into traps and they do hurt. And that's another thing too. When the fox, when the mother fox, I like to call her Foxy, by the way. I don't know if she has a name. I'll ask the devs and, and see what they come up with. But I call her Foxy. Playing as Foxy, if you decide to just, you know, run through the game and let's say, you know, you run into an enemy, you get hurt and you decide to run away, Foxy does have that limping walk, and it does tend to slow down her speed. That's, you know, it's, it's funny how they, they put in certain mechanics that, you know, can mimic the real world. Obviously, you know, this isn't a hyper-realistic game, but a game that shows or imitates life. You know, it's like the old adage, you know, art imitating life and, and vice versa. The environment, this is something that's that's crazy. And this is why I say that there's an underlying theme of, um, you know, environmental protection. Because the environment is supposed to be the wilderness. It's supposed to be the forest or, you know, snowy forest area. And there's factories that are dumping, you know, and, and polluting, you know, the rivers and, and you know, the, the lakes. You know, there's garbage all around. You can see... In certain aspects of the game, when you move from what tends to be a, you know, a very pretty and uh, a very beautiful natural scene, and as you progress, it degrades to something that is destroyed and polluted, and and you can see the difference between the two, and it's 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 a, it's a stark difference. I'll tell you that <laughs> it's a stark difference between the two, and. It shows just how bad, you know, we we are with preserving, you know, the natural environments and how we have a long way to go to keep these, you know, these animals safe and our environment safe. Not just for the animals, but for us as, as people. We, we live in this, you know. This is definitely worth picking up. You know, I love games that have a, a clear and distinct message with you know, fun gameplay and interesting mechanics. And of course, you know, appealing visuals as well. And I think, you know, Endling is an embodiment of all of that. That's my impressions. I'm definitely looking forward to this game when it comes out. I'll be picking it up on Nintendo Switch. And I'll do my full review and let you know what else is in store for us with Endling Extinction is Forever. Again... Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. We're trying to get to 500, and if you love reviews and impressions, honest reviews and impressions, to let you know if a game is worth picking up, then you know what to do. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.